Five things that harm your gut health over age 50. We all know that gut health is important, but what we don't always realize is just how much our gut health can be affected by the things we do every day, even in our golden years. As we age, the composition of our microbiome changes along with the rest of our bodies. As a result, older adults are at a greater risk for certain problems like leaky gut syndrome. And that's not even the worst of it. When your gut health suffers, so does your overall health. This means that you need to be aware of things that can negatively impact your digestive system as you age. So here are five things that harm your gut health over age 50. Number one, drinking too much alcohol. It's not surprising that drinking too much alcohol can harm your gut health over 50, but it might be surprising to learn just how much it can harm you. Alcohol is known to increase the risk of developing liver disease, but it also affects your gut. Alcohol can cause diarrhea, which is a common symptom of irritable bowel syndrome and other gastrointestinal problems. The reason for this is that alcohol interferes with digestion. It's also been shown to reduce levels of beneficial bacteria in the intestines and increase harmful bacteria in the gut. This can lead to an imbalance that causes symptoms like bloating and gas. Number two, taking antibiotics for too long or too often. Antibiotics are a double-edged sword. They kill bad bacteria, but they also kill good bacteria. If you take antibiotics for a long time, it's important to eat probiotic foods such as yogurt or take supplements with them. If you're on antibiotics for more than two weeks or want to avoid getting sick soon after finishing your prescription, don't stop taking probiotics just because the medicine is gone you may want to keep them up for at least two months afterwards. Number three, not enough prebiotics in your diet. Prebiotics are foods that promote good bacteria growth in the gut. They are found in foods like onions, garlic, asparagus, artichokes, and bananas. Prebiotics help feed the probiotics, which is good bacteria. Unfortunately, many people over age 50 don't get enough prebiotics in their diets because they are not eating enough fruits or vegetables. Remember to eat a wide variety of prebiotic foods. They have to be consumed regularly to keep your gut healthy and happy. When you get older, the amount of prebiotic foods you need increases because the gut bacteria may be less active and cannot break down food as efficiently. Number four, smoking cigarettes. If you're over 50, you may not realize the impact that smoking is having on your body, but it's there. Smoking cigarettes can damage the lining of your intestines, making it harder for the nutrients to be absorbed into your bloodstream and making it easier for dangerous toxins to enter your bloodstream. This can lead to a series of digestive issues like irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, and ulcerative colitis. In addition, cigarette smoke contains over 7,000 chemicals including tar, carbon monoxide, and ammonia. When these chemicals enter your blood through inhalation, they can poison cells in your digestive tract as well as make their way into the bloodstream where they can cause even further damage. Number five, eating excess sugar and highly processed foods. If you're over 50, eating excess sugar and highly processed foods will harm your gut health. These foods are high in sugar, which can cause inflammation that can lead to a leaky gut syndrome when the lining of your intestines become more permeable than usual and allows bacteria to leak through into your bloodstream. Symptoms of leaky gut include fatigue, bloating, diarrhea or constipation, and food sensitivities. If you're concerned about these health issues related to sugar intake, make sure you read the labels on everything you eat, even canned vegetables like tomatoes. Look for words like high fructose corn syrup or 
artificial colors. The higher up these ingredients appear on the list, the more processed that item is likely to be. If possible, choose organic options because they tend not to have added sugars as preservatives as much as conventional products do. Some of these might seem like a no-brainer, but others are more surprising. It's important to remember that your gut health is connected with so many other parts of your body and mind, including how well you sleep, how much stress you feel on any given day, and even the kinds of foods you eat. You can take care of yourself by making small changes in each category. Please like the video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.